Hello, in this tutorial we're going to look at the SharePoint chart web part again, but this time we're going to apply some drill down. So with the SharePoint chart web part selected, I'm going to add a new instance of that SharePoint chart onto the page. And we're going to hit the drop down and choose edit this chart. This time, once more, we're going to work with the Microsoft SQL database and we'll use the Windows authentication in order to connect to the database and we're going to provide the name of the database as we did before. The table that we're going to connect to is different. We're going to use the orders table this time. So uh, we'll select the orders table from the Northwind database and uh, again we can click onto view data to see the data that we're going to be bringing back. Now we'll choose next and we're going to select the order ID as well as the order date and click apply. So this will bring back two of those columns and as we choose next we'll be able to once again filter the data but we can uh, see the data preview, the, the data that's uh, being brought back here by the uh, chart web part. We'll choose next and we're going to enable grouping of data as we did before. And this time we're going to group by the order date. So we'll select the order date column and the SharePoint chart web part recognizes that we're going to be working with a date column so it provides me with the option of grouping by date periods so notice that we can group by quarter, by half year, by month and so on so we're going to select the quarter and if we scroll down a little bit further we will be able to select the function for the order ID which in this case will be count so we'll click on to apply and notice that we now get a count of the number of orders per quarter uh, from the Northwind database. So we'll select next. Again we could show the top X amount of records, we're going to ignore that for now and we'll move on to the chart type. So for the chart type once more we'll choose the 3D column chart and we'll click on to apply and as we select next we'll provide a title so the title is going to be the number of orders and we'll have the subtitle as per quarter. We'll provide an x-axis title of period and the y-axis title of number of orders. And click apply. As we choose next, we're going to skip the cosmetic section since that's already been seen. The only thing I am going to change is just so it blends in well on the page is remove the canvas. And we're going to jump down to the drill down section. Now on the drill down section there's several different options. One of those options is to display a new chart with a subset of data when a data point is clicked and that's the option that we're going to perform in this video. Uh, we could also show a table of data as you click the chart or we can navigate to another link. So by navigating to another link this could be that we navigate to another area of SharePoint or another page inside SharePoint showing some data such as with inside an external list or something to that effect. We can also access a page but provide a query string uh, so that we can filter web parts based on that query string. So what we're going to do first of all is select the top option which is show a new chart with a subset of data when a data point is clicked and before we categorize the data by quarter and this time we're going to do it per month. We'll leave the sort order the same and we're going to provide this in the same chart rather than a pop-up and we'll change the configuration so that rather than saying the number of orders per quarter we'll change that to per month and we'll click onto OK and we're going to enable another level of drill down as well and notice we can go to uh, multiple levels and this time we're going to go down to the day level so we'll select the day click on to customize once more and we'll have the number of orders per day as the title of our chart web part so now when we click on OK and apply we'll choose finish Let's save and close the page and you'll notice now how we can interact with the chart on the page so 
we can see here in Q1 1998 uh, we have uh, an exceptionally good month um, and we have a, a very poor month in Q3 of 1996. So using the chart web part we can drill into these, we can click on to each quarter and notice that we get the breadcrumb trail at the bottom there so we can see what we're looking at and in here we can see the number of orders per month with inside that quarter and we can see that August was uh, was not bad so if we click on to August this allows us to see the uh, number of orders per day so we can see um, perhaps some busy times with inside that period and as we navigate back obviously we could have a look at uh, a busy quarter and see that March was the uh, successful month within that quarter